So this is very this very little cool uh, lesson that um, is arranged in a way so that I can easily monitor where I am uh, according to the metronome. Um, and this is something that is very helpful in <laughs> telling me if I am actually how fast I'm actually playing. The reason for this program that I'm talking about here, um, I've created a full program that is uh, um, that will develop your alternate pegging in such a way so that you can um, that gets you ready to um, be able to pick up the pace and play fast without it has any uh, effect on the sound of your alternate picking. So imagine that you play something relatively slow and it sounds great when you're playing it. But for most people, once they are you know, picking up the pace in the alternate picking, then it starts to have an effect on, their, on the sound of it. And this is what you want to avoid. You want to have the same sound in the alternate playing that you're picking, when it, whether it's slow or it's fast. So, and this is the first little free lesson here that is um, an introduction to this whole concept um, where I give you lessons that will, uh, first of all, develop your technique, but also lessons that are easy to monitor how you're actually playing. Uh, and I, I guess I don't have to tell you how many guitar players who are out there on YouTube and they have created videos where they think they are playing to some kind of ridiculous tempo to the metronome, which is most in most cases is not true uh, because they're not following the metronome. So you want you want to differentiate yourself from those people and actually uh, be able to play um, to follow the metronome. And this is not easy, obviously, since there's so many who think they are playing 750 or even 1,000 beats per minute. That's ridiculous. So now you can hear the metronome that I will be following the metronome closely. So you'll notice that I start on a click and then I'll ending the whole lick on a click in s as well. So this makes it very easily uh, easy for me to know exactly where I am according to the click. So if I have a lot of notes and I'm playing something uh, something with a, a lot of notes in it and I'm not really sure where I am according to the click, then I'm in trouble. You know, Then I will not be able to tell whether I'm playing uh, 16th notes or maybe even six tuplets at a, a much slower uh, tempo maybe or something like that. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. So in this way, it makes it so much more easy to play along with the metronome when I arrange notes so I know where I am. Um, so let me give you the notes here. So we start here on the high E string. I'm playing a, a harmonic minor shape. I play 19 and then 18 and then 15 on the high E string using little finger, ring finger, index finger. And then I go into the B string playing 19 17, 15, and then I go into the G string playing 18, 16, 15, 16, 18, 16, 15, and then I go into the D string playing with the little finger here 17, uh, 16, 14, uh, yeah, ring finger, little finger, index finger. So from here. I go down to the 12th fret with my index finger and play 14, 16. And then I go into the G string with my index finger playing 12, and then with my ring finger 15 and 16. Um, and then I go into the B string playing uh, with my index finger 14, 15, 17, and then back again to 15, 14, and up again to 15. And 17, and then I go into my, uh, to the high E string playing 
14 and then 15 and then 18 sliding into 19 again and this um, playing it in this uh, exact uh, way makes sure that it's really easy to, to uh, play this um, in a fast pace to the metronome. You can easily hear that where your fingers are when you're listening to the click and in this way you can um, you know follow uh, the click as you increase in speed and then still make sure that you're actually following it and not do what a lot of people are doing they keep increasing the speed on the metronome but they don't necessarily once they get up in a really uh, relatively fast pace they don't stop following the click because they can't they don't know where they are according to the metronome so this is what we will avoid using this method one thing i should touch upon just before um, you go into the lesson is that as i s said in the beginning of the video i'm playing in a harmonic minor scale pattern but um, notice that what i still do is even though i'm playing these uh, intervals like these I'm still using my regular three number string pattern uh, fingerings. So in this case, for example, playing uh, one and a half note uh, interval and then a half note, you know, so I'm using index ring and little finger. And when I play the opposite, uh, as when I go up here, it's index um, long and little finger. And this is something that I just, you know, arranged um, and just gotten used to because I, um, I have always played um, three of a string uh, patterns um, for the um, the major and the, you know, uh, regular minor, um, natural minor scales and stuff like that. So I just thought that it would be a ridiculous idea to make a new. Um, fingering a new way of playing just other scales i just thought that and i really still believe that that if you still you need to make it simple for yourself so once you're playing a new scale um as uh, as much as is humanly possible uh make it easy for yourself and make use of the techniques that already works for you so if you're using three string patterns uh, for one scale, make sure you also do that, this when you're learning a new scale pattern and not something completely different. Uh, it's just uh, you know common sense if you wanna if you wanna be able to play up this tempo. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope that you will click the link under the video here and check out the course um, that'll help you increase an alternate picking speed and playing cleanly and also. Um, Make, making sure that you can actually play to the metronome. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you in a few days where I'll send you some more alternate picking stuff.